Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here, after two years since our arrival, we have been worshipping the water god, goddess It, with our energy, with our time, with our money, with our conviction. We have been building shrines for this water entity. Places where it can live and dwell. And uh, this is the latest. This was is a uh, an erosion gully. It was between one and two meters deep. And I have filled it with brush and branches. And now I have worked away some of the earth on the higher side of this erosion gully to fill it up but also to spread the water when it comes down here and also I have managed to be able to split the water so that not so much comes this way at once but uh, this goddess, God, it is very finicky, particular, strange. <coughs> I still have to learn a lot. Um, this work here has now terminated for now. After 20 hours in the excavator, I uh, had enough. And uh, also, there is a big root here that moves the excavator and the excavator doesn't move it. So I will come with a shovel and a saw and get rid of it. But also that's not too serious, I've done most of what I wanted to do. I have quite a few things to do before the next rains and uh, I want to be prepared. What is left here is to flatten the soil here with a kind of higher edge towards the lower side, almost like a berm. And then I will bring the excavator back sometime and just smoothen the slope and bring the topsoil right here to the tracks. And then plant some vetiver and esparto and reeds and uh, whatever I can get. Here on the first dam I've built, towards the top end of the erosion gully. This water has been here maybe since October, every time some new water is added. And now there is... Um, it doesn't really clear, the sediment doesn't settle completely. I mean, the dogs also don't swim in here. Get out of the picture. The people say you guys are dirty and they are right. And uh, there's some kind of foam on top of the water. I'm not too sure what that is. Might just be dust or the stuff, I don't know. It will be nice to know. Once again, beautiful warm day, everything grows extremely well right now, it is moist, it's warm, a lot of sunshine, ideal. 
So uh, here, where we have our million liter additional supply of water to the land, the tube under the road. So this uh, road is about 10 meters, 12 meters wide, kilometer that way, kilometer this way. I imagine how many rooftops of water it produces. I'm just happy it does and it comes my way. Now I have to devise a system where half of the water goes to the highest whale and half to the lowest whale. I can dump some dirt in there, some clay, that's a possibility. I can have some plastic sheeting that I can move. But uh, I'm here. It doesn't look like we will get that much rain as the previous time. So idle opportunity to learn and to tweak things and make progress. Some of the um, holm oak in Thena, Spanish oak. I have removed this branch here and that one there, they were too low and uh, now I have a pole which I'm excited about. I just have to get a device to move it but uh, what we usually do is I carry the back and uh, the farmer's wife has the one end on a wheelbarrow and we can move mountains like that. There's a lot of work to be done. There are hundreds of oak trees here. I have just removed the lower limbs that were obstructing our movement. It's also a fire hazard should this catch fire. It's easy to spread into the tree if the, le uh, the branches are so low. And uh, also I have now this chainsaw, extended chainsaw, four or five meters, which I can then cut branches like this. I have identified a few patches on the farm where we have this wild mustard. We went plant shopping in Portugal today and uh, there are many many fields cover with, covered with this because the animals don't eat it. So I will get rid of it. The farmer's wife is very busy. I say the farmer's wife is busy. A lot of plants were purchased and now we put it in her garden. So we have a lot of lettuce and here we have new strawberries, carrots, beetroot, what else did you plant? What is in there? I still have red onions. I want to plant. Red onions and? And spinach. Okay. And spinach. Yeah. 
Great, looks good. Enjoy! I'm also very excited. We got hold of this finger line. A caviar of the fruit group. And then another plant I don't know. This is the Malabar plum. Um, it's interesting that they sell it here in this dry part of the world, but we're going to give it a try. And then um, we also have some frambuesas. And we like to buy some citrus and then some roses, climbing roses. Exciting times. Till next time. Goodbye.